All right, now we back and we with him Mr. right here, Mr. Mr. Murder. Mr. Fuck the Police, Uncle Murder, a.k.a. Uncle M, you dig? Okay. OMG, nigga. It's the Brooklyn edition. Let's just get into it. Which precinct do you hate, man? Yeah. Which precinct do you hate? Which precinct get on your nerves, man? You can't stand it. The 75th precinct <laughs> get on my fucking nerves. Let's, let's get to it. I knew it. <laughs> well, I had a couple shootouts with them back in the 90s. Lord have mercy. It's on my rap sheet, too. Y'all can go check it out. <laughs> Google it. Can, can they yeah, Google? Google it. You might get all my information on there. Yo, we got to ask you. You have, you have any um, Haitian homeboys or anything like that? Yeah, I got a... Wyclef is actually my nigga. So, you know, I'm behind the whole support what's going on in the Haiti right now movement. I done texted in my phone and... I advise everybody else to do the same thing, but Wyclef is my nigga. He hooked me and my vital up. Oh, word? Yeah. Oh, word. Um, was this a past record or a new record? Me and my vital and Wyclef actually did two records together. And I did a couple records with my vital, just me and my vital. Oh, damn. And Wyclef introduced us and all that. That's my nigga. That's good. Yo, I have to ask you, like, at the end of the day, you know where we from. I'm from Brooklyn, so Flatbush. You know oh, what I'm saying? Flatbush, so what up? All the things you dealt with, yeah, I dealt with on the side, you know what I mean? Alleg allegedly. So, you've been, you've seen mad, seen mad stuff. Yeah. You know, you've been through mad stuff, you know what the deal. When you've seen scenes from what happened over there, Haiti, like, like how, how, what, what was your reaction? It just make you realize certain things that we might go through over here ain't really that serious. Like, you know, you can avoid certain shit because they was in a situation that couldn't be avoided. Yeah. And now here you might put yourself in certain predicaments and positions and that's why you go through bullshit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they couldn't help what they was going through yeah. out there. Yo, that's just tough and all. But um okay. It was okay. just an unfortunate, unfortunate. Yeah, unfortunate. it definitely was. Right. So we gotta get into the, the music and why not like what's going on with you? Everybody wanna know. <laughs> Yo, where murder been at? Where Uncle Murder been at? I like, was been grinding. I had like, a little death of my family six months ago. That was my grandmother. She was like my world because my mother passed away when I was 13. And all I had from there was my grandmother. So she passed away the end of July. Right. So I was just chilling out for a little minute. You know, just taking some time, getting certain family things mm -hmm. together. Right. And I'm the oldest out of four big, four brothers. I'm the oldest brother. So. I was just getting my family right, you know certain things, right. my money right, and just doing what I do. Yeah. But I'm definitely back on my music shit right now, harder than ever. So, so what's going? On, what's your situation right now? Cause mad dudes wanna know what the fuck is. You know what I'm well, I just did something for Mariah Carey. I'm on her um, remix album, remix album right. that she dropping soon, right. and all that. And um, I just put out a. Well, we did um obsessed over. Oh, stop obsessed. playing! Yeah, they had me remix that. Yeah, we remixed that. So how you obsessed. how you how you took that apart? Well, what 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 standpoint did I you? I just did what I do. I talked about niggas that be stalking <laughs> my homie Mariah. Cause you know Mariah been fucking with me for a little minute and all that. She actually reached out to me. So so you know, dudes is like. Mariah Uncle Murder, like the music is like, we went to the club together probably like two, three months ago and everybody was bugging out. Yo, Murder just came in the club. You can't stop <laughs> seeing Murder, they couldn't even understand it. Me. We <laughs> jumped out the bay back, I met Nick Cannon and all, like, it's good dude. Wow. So, like, it's all love, man. Alright, so also, every you know, everybody want to know, we got to talk about it. The, what, Chris Lighty, what up? What, what led to the, you know what I'm saying, you leaving Rockefeller? It was just Jay-Z had a lot going on over there with Def Jam. That's still my nigga. I ran in the hole probably like two months in the club and we was bugging out. He was showing me how um, he got Ace of Spade being the number one lit <laughs> oh, champagne yeah. sold in the country. He said, look, son, I destroyed Chris That's now. Brooklyn. You understand what I'm saying? So I still fuck with Jay. I'm not mad at him for nothing. He gave me a lot of money. It was just certain things wasn't right with him and Def Jam. Well, I guess they just wasn't seeing eye to eye. Right. And I got caught up in that whole situation. But definitely not mad at all for nothing. He gave me a bankroll. And I'm good. 
So I'm not mad at that. That's what's up. We good after this interview. We're going to McDonald's. But check this out. <laughs> <laughs> on Uncle Murder. Y'all Murder got the bread. We're going to supersize on that, my yeah. girl. We're going to supersize. Not a problem. We're going to Mr. Chow. Yo, so like, what's the situation right now? Is like, a bidding war going on? Nah, oh, it's actually no bidding war. I got um, Chris Lighty as my manager as well as my man. Oh, oh Jesus. I'm his cousin. Lady, I'm his, lady. I'm, I'm his cousin. Yeah, so, so he just working out a couple things, making sure the next situation that we get into don't, you know, fuck up. So we just making sure it's right, making sure the music is right, and whatever situation we get into, we're going to capitalize, and y'all going to finally get that real gangster music that's going to be out there. Speaking of gangster, let's, 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 let's get into it, bro. Because I don't give a f you know what I'm saying? Anybody, y'all know Jack Doe, my mouth wants crazy. I be in all the parties, whatever it be. I wouldn't even give a damn. Y'all got a problem with what I said? Say something, don't talk about it. The state of hip hop, any artists out there, you know what I'm saying, that, that rub you the wrong way, or something that you see, that, um, a certain type of movement that you, you just can't that affiliate, just with. affiliate yourself with. No. For example, skinny jeans. I, or, I definitely don't feel all that or, skinny jeans shit, but you know, to each his own, I'm just not with it. Now, as a, man, just, as a man, though, I, I just mean, can't fuck with it. As a man, though, I understand the youngins. So, but yeah, as that's, a man, the, that's they trend. If your son came, some, if your son came oh, up to Christmas, my son definitely not wearing no <laughs> pants that's tight. He want to play sports, so I want him to be able to run and shit like that. Can't you know be, running with, no tight Can't be running with no tight ass pants. <laughs> so, so wait, where you see, where you see this game going at now? Because I think it's going back. Personally, I think it's gonna go back to some more artistry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, the, the game is creative right now. You got a whole bunch of people. Doing a bunch of different things. Yeah. I think Lil Wayne is real creative. Then you got the Drakes and you got the Kanye's. But you still got the street dudes out there like the Jeezy's. Got Gucci Man talking his knucklehead shit. I'm talking my knucklehead shit. So, you know, it's like a different type of balance. That's it. You just got to get in where you fit in. That's right. I, I, I ain't so, knocking nobody. Yo, yo, first of all, I have to say something. You know what I'm saying? You don't mind me speaking to people I know on, on, on your on. behalf? Can I get some tissue in this yeah. motherfucker? Yo, there, there's been people saying That's your uncle murder do mastery records. He can't make a song. You know what I'm saying? I heard people say that. But um, you, you listen. I got something to say though. Yo, on the, on the strip, I heard somebody play me a record over the phone. Oh yeah, that that record I that you actually heard. I keep come it one hundred. Yo, that record. Hang on, what? I told my man, whoa. I switch accents. Ease up my set, then bring it back and rewind. Yo, over the phone. I told my yo, my, yo, that Reiki is called Murder's World. Murder's World. Yo, I can't stop. Yo, I need to know <coughs> how the hell that Reiki came about. I know, front, you knocked me off. My man was like, yo, I'm gonna play this new, yo, stuff for Murder Reiki. Right, See, right, actually, man. nobody said, was oh. supposed to even hear that yet, so that means you were an important person because <laughs> that Reiki <record laughs> don't come out to about Say that the end of March. <laughs> You know so I mean? that record don't come out to the end of March. It's just called Murder's World, and it's just me talking about how I see things in my world and how I want y'all to see things in my world. So it's, it's and this is what your world should be like. It's gonna be a single. Yeah, it's gonna be one of the singles. So it's over, son. Yeah, yo, I think, definitely. I think I really think, yo, like New York. You know what I'm saying? I I, I really I feel so strong. Oh yeah, they gonna need back. that. They gonna guarantee you gonna love this record, and you ain't gonna expect this type of record from me. But you're getting it from me. Tell me what some things that is inspire you when you when you make music. Um, shit. Be, be, just be, be, be just still just anything. still being alive inspires me to make music because I had so many, you know, experience that I was so close to death. And you know, certain things that I go through in the streets, that my peoples go through in the streets, my family struggles and all that. And definitely the good weed that the weed sellers sell. Do you feel like because your music is about, you feel like- Even though I can't, well, I could literally smoke in about two weeks, I'm back, baby. Yo, you know New Jersey, <laughs> getting, yo, New Jersey getting a medical, you I heard, heard about that. I think I'm out to move to Jersey. Jersey. I got a fucking cold right now. <laughs> yeah, your sinus is here. Yeah, I'm fucked up. You can't get it for sinus. You can't get it for sinus. What can you get it for? HIV, cancer, 
um, and a few other things. Headaches, headaches. You got, you got headaches. You, you tell me you got headaches. I got, I got shot in the head before. My head be killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Even though the bullet bounced off, I still got side effects. Is sinus man enough for medical I marijuana? I need the weed. All right, Venus versus Mars. Uncle Murder. Yeah. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Yeah. Careful. Black boys, New York.